to Rick and Dave's Comic Book Hour. Happy Holidays! I hope you get what you want for Christmas. Have you been naughty or nice? Because if you're naughty, the Punisher might come and get you. Watch out. Right. Welcome to Rick and Dave's Comic Book Hour. I'm Rick. I'm Dave. And today's episode, or issue, we're going to be discussing the comics we just received in the mail the other day. So Dave, right. what did you receive? Well, first off, I got Guardians of the Galaxy number nine. How's that working out for you? Uh, not too bad. Story's still pretty good. They still got the fill-in artist, which I think will change your next issue or two. Do you like this fill-in artist? No, I don't. You do not. I mean, okay. I don't care for the fill-in artist. Uh, then I got Justice League number twenty-five, part of the For I Forever Evil storyline. Uh, kind of gives an origin of the Owl Man. Yeah. He has some interesting thoughts on the Owl Man because in the Earth Three, you found out that the Owl Man yeah, is in, this, in Earth Three. Uh, Owl Man is not Bruce Wayne, but his older brother Thomas Junior. Wayne. So I thought that was kind of interesting, and uh, he's trying to make friends with uh, Nightwing because apparently him and Nightwing were buddies in, on Earth Three. So he's thinking that this might work out on Earth One. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, then we got Nova, number 11. Yes. Yeah, number 11. And then uh, Mighty Avengers, number 4. Is that still a good book for you, Dave? Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. I mean, it's got uh, Luke Cage leading the team, and he's got getting uh, gathering up some other folks to join him, and uh, he's going to try to become his own Avengers team. Instead of having Heroes for Hire, he's going to have a autonomous, is that the right word I think I used in their uh, group of Avengers so they can go out and do their own thing. And uh, But Superior Spider-Man doesn't like the idea of Luke Cage leading the team so kind of they have issues. And uh, then I got <laughs> the Doc Ock <Hawk> Wolf. <laughs> yeah, go <laughs> figure, right? Yeah. And speaking of Spider-Doc, uh, we got issues 22 and 23. And that's, that's the start the of the Venom storyline. And we've got some Venom stuff going on there, so that was pretty interesting. Well, we also got uh, uh, Maria going to dinner to meet uh, Parker's oh, yes. May, Aunt May and uh, her husband, and that turns into quite an interesting scene there when they're having fun having their brunch or whatever it is. Yeah, so they get to meet Peter's new girlfriend. And J. Jonas Jameson is going back to the Spider Slayer. To yeah. Spoiler. To go. Yeah. Yep. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Like <laughs> you the, didn't see that coming. <laughs> so he doesn't yeah. care that it did kill his wife. He's going he's, to go he's back to get the, another one of those. He doesn't care. He doesn't. He never learns his lesson, but he's going to do it. Yeah. And then we got World's Finest number eighteen. Power Girl still having issues with her superpowers. And uh, then we have Earth Two number eighteen. Which we got a Superman kicking some ass and learning a little bit more about the current Batman. Not much, but some. And then we got Batgirl number 26, which is the conclusion to the Wanted storyline that's been running the last three or so issues. Did you like that storyline? Yeah. Yeah, I did. I thought that was, it turned out all right. I mean, kind of surprised that Gordon didn't want to find out who Batgirl was, but anyway. Um, then we have Green Lantern number 26. How's that working out for you? Well, this is an interesting take. It's, it's kind of, the Green Lanterns are, I don't know, they're almost, becoming, with Hal Jordan, he's got this dictator mentality that his way is the only way and they can't, you know, anybody else with a, any other color ring is not allowed to be used in their ring and because it drains the universe's emotional spectrum and they don't want to have what happened here recently and where the universe about ran out of light and, and when that happens then everything goes to hell. So that didn't work out so I don't know. That's interesting how they're playing it off because who's right and who's wrong. You know, I can see both sides of it. Star Sapphire was protecting her people and and how Jordan just bullied his way in there and I don't think that was quite the right way of the method to go in so it's all going to come back and bite them in the butt here sooner or later I'm sure. And then I got uh, Action Comics number 26. 
Superman takes on a monster and uh, monsters rampaging and causing havoc and find out that the monster is really not as mean as he first appears and so Superman takes him back to the Fortress of Solitude as one of his beings he's going to take care of, I guess. He's got a whole slew of these mysterious monsters and animals or whatever from different places. And then we have uh, number 33 of Deja Thoris, Warlord of Mars. And uh, that's not too bad of a storyline. The art could be better, but the storyline's pretty decent, so. I don't know what you see if I'm reading this comic about this half naked girl, but I guess. Yeah, <laughs> I know. <laughs> Yeah, but that's what came in my box. So what would you get, Rick? Well, other than half of what you got. <laughs> yeah, he gets a lot of the same issues that I do. So, but I guess the only thing that I got this time that we don't get is I got uh, Detective Comics number twenty-six and Batman number twenty-six. Maybe that came the week before. I don't know, but I got. I did receive that one. And of course, I still get Dynamite's Bionic Man, which I still like to read. It's not bad. The artwork's not too shabby on it either, but I've been getting this since issue 5, and then eventually got all of them, so I still enjoy picking up this independent title. So, Alrighty. that's what we received this week. So, I hope you enjoyed the, these little mini-reviews. And Alrighty. Talk Thanks to you later. Lot. Bye. Bye. Hey there gang, Janet Jay here. I was naughty on Santa's lap and look what he got me for Christmas.